Tech Legion, Steve here. Uh, this is the ASUS GPU Tweak software that you get when you uh, purchase one of their cards. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty simple interface. Uh, pretty intuitive to look at and understand. Uh, sort of like MSI's Afterburner or EVGA's Precision. Lots of info going on. But uh, right here you can see this is the GPU clock. And the stock clock is 7.32. And this little lock here will lock the uh, voltage and the GPU clock together. So when you're performance tuning your card, you can just uh, bump up your GPU clock and the GPU voltage will go up accordingly. You can also uh, click this here, which will unlock it, so you can adjust the voltage to the GPU separately from the GPU clock. Stock voltage is 988 milliamps, or uh, one point, or less than a volt, 0.98 volts. Uh, memory clock is stock at 3800, and the fan speed is at 16 percent. Now if you look over here this is the monitoring software this gives you the CPU temperature in uh, centigrade. Uh, right now we're idling at 39 but uh, the temperature in our room here is actually uh, turned up quite a bit so I mean when we uh, go to bench it will be in a thermally controlled room so I mean right now it's at uh, 60 Fahrenheit or 65 Fahrenheit. So when you, we drop it down to uh, 20 degrees Celsius to monitor temps, this obviously will drop down a little as well. Uh, this line here is the GPU usage. So the GF100 uh, found on the five GTX 570, which is the same uh, architecture we'll find in the uh, ASUS GTX 560 Ti448 core. This monitor is uh, the amount of usage going on, and right now you can see it's not doing anything. There's no, uh, it doesn't measure in 2D mode, I believe. Here is the VID percentage, and the FB usage, and the GPU voltage in uh, millivolts. So right now we're at 988, like I said. And if you click down here, you can scroll down and uh, you see a bunch of other stuff that is being monitored. Here is the fan one duty on the uh, GPU, 16%. This is fan one speed in RPMs. So right now we're at uh, 1,260 RPM. Uh, GPU clock, <clears throat> uh, 732, which is stock, and then. Uh, up here you get the min and max so 732 sock max is 880 which is what we've overclocked it to already but we'll go over the software and show you what we're doing uh, memory overclock stock 3800 max 4050 which is what we were able to clock it to uh, fully stable and this is the processor clock down here 1464 stock and a max of 1760 when we overclocked and the very last one is the memory usage on the card. So obviously the minimum used is what the clock has to offer is uh, 1,248 megabytes or 1.2 gig and that is also the max because we obviously can't go over what the maximum amount of memory in the card is. Uh, this little 3D up here is set for 3D clocks. If you click it, uh, you can disable uh, 2D clocks and run with 3D clocks all the time, but then you're uh, obviously going to have a higher power bill and a lot more noise than you need to have. Uh, your, your, uh, the clocks on your GPU are uh, it runs off a slider, and so if you click the arrow beside the max to bump it up, it bumps it up uh, 10 points at a time. Or you can just click it and type in, you know, whatever you want. Right, so 2,222, obviously not gonna happen, but you just punch in what you want and you go from there. 
Uh, same with the voltage, since we don't have the voltage locked into the uh, GPU clock speed, it's just a matter of bumping it up. And it goes up to a max of 1100 uh, millivolts or 1.1 volts. Memory clock, same thing. You can either type it in or click the arrows to adjust it. And same with goes with uh, the fan speed. Right, right now it's in auto mode so you can adjust it, but if you want to adjust the fan speeds uh, manually, you click the manual button here and that uh, ungraze the bar and then you can click it up to whatever you want. Right, and then uh, they also have a user define button here and if you click that you can uh, you know, predefine what temperatures you want your fan on your GPU to ramp, uh, ramp up to. So if you just put your finger on the little thing and you drag it around, you can say, okay, when the uh, card gets to 20 centigrade, I want it to ramp up to 30% fan speed. And so on down the line. So we'll drag this down to here. At 30 degrees centigrade, it's going to ramp up to 60. And at 40 degrees, we're going to ramp up to 90 and then we'll just click apply and come back to the tuning button up here and now you can see that uh, the fan is at 90 uh, percent and our temps are at 39 All right, pretty simple stuff I mean there's nothing uh, overly scientific about it uh, if you click on the live update, you know, it gives you, a, brings you up to where your BIOS can be updated and if you check for update, you can see it's connecting to the server. And I'll just give it a second. Okay, so <clears throat> you can see that uh, the last check was done on uh, December 30th of 2012 and it'll automatically check on February 6th, 2012. And it shows you the BIOS where version that you run on the card. Now if we click the settings, there is a bunch of stuff here. Uh, you have main tab, tuning tab, live update, recording, and hotkey. So uh, we have uh, automatically start GPU tweak when I log into Windows, checked. Minimize GPU tweak when it starts, checked. Uh, GPU tweak monitor startup automatically starts when you log into Windows and minimizes. Uh, skin behavior, so you can either add a skin or remove a skin. And tool, tool tips is also enabled. Uh, that's all underneath the main tab. Now if we click on the tuning, uh, display priority, we have GPU clock and GPU voltage, memory clock and fan one checked. And then this is uh, ear mouse sensitivity, keyboard sensitivity, and uh, benchmark quick start. So uh, basically uh, what this is, is that in the very bottom, uh, well right here it's a little arrow. Uh, that's to launch a uh, GPU stress test. So what you do is you find where you, uh, or what test you want to run, and you, you click uh, the little three dots here, and you can tell uh, GPU tweak what uh, benchmark you would like to start up. Alright, so we click it. We set it to firm mark, although we don't use it. That was just what was on my desktop at the time. And that brings that up so you can stress your uh, GPU. Now, if we go to live update, you can uh, choose. Uh, either to enable it or disable it the uh, duration of time so one week every day or once a month you have automatic update automatic automatic update urgent only and notify me but don't uh, do not automatically update or install download or install under re <clears throat> recording uh, you can either enable or disable recording uh, film size, right, so you can choose from, uh, well, 720p is what it's set at. File size is frames per second, 
set at 60. Sound source is Dolby Digital and file format is ABI. Uh, these are all drop down boxes but there's nothing in there as of yet. So that might get an update. And then we have the hotkey tab which uh, shows you uh, obviously what hotkeys you push to make things happen. So control alt M is show the main window. Show monitor window is control alt N. And then uh, all your pro low profiles that you want to load are uh, also hotkeyed in. Uh, then you can uh, have a hotkey for power saving, gaming profile, core clock up or core, core clock down. And then the GPU info button brings up uh, GPU Z right here. And this gives you a breakdown of the, uh, obviously, what the card has to offer here. Uh, memory, memory type, bus width, bandwidth, all that kind of stuff that we typically see in GPU-Z. This is just uh, GPU-Z with an ASUS ROG skin on it. If we click uh, the settings tab on the monitor, you can see here uh, what you can uh, monitor, you either enable or disable it by checking it, GPU temps, C GPU usage, VID usage, FB usage, GPU voltage, uh, fan duty speed, GPU clock, memory clock, processor clock, and memory usage. And then down here you can uh, check this to create a log so you can see what's going on. And then up at the top here the fetch interval is uh, the duration in between what it's reporting so you have 1 seconds, 3 seconds, 5 and 10 seconds. And then uh, you also have the option for a full skin, a widget, light widget, or no skin at all. Well, there you go, guys. That is GPU tweak uh, in a quick couple minutes here.